Hey, are you a parrot head? Are you considering Latitude Margaritaville, uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina as a potential landing spot? Recently, they had a grand opening, uh, and Peter Mayer from the Coral Roofer Band played, and we got a chance to interview him, and I wanted to share that interview with you right now, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm David Cross, at home with David, real estate agent here in Hilton Head, South Carolina. And today we're at Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head for the grand opening of the town square. I'm with Christopher Bose, my uh, broker in charge here at Coastal Investment Network. And today we have a very, very special guest that many of you are gonna know, Peter Mayer from the Coral Reefer Band, Jimmy Buffett. He's here with us today and he's just gonna share a little bit and um, talk a little bit about the Latitude Margaritaville. What do you think about it? Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. I felt like I was walking on stage in some of these <laughs> areas. It's really well done. Uh, we took a little drive through the property yesterday. Um, houses, uh, the pastel colors, the beach-like uh, environment, amazing fitness rooms. And um, my son and I, Brendan, who you'll talk to in a minute, but. Uh, we were amazed at the level uh, that the work had been done. You know, you go through some of these um, beach-like communities that I've gone over the years, and they can be done a little bit like, put a plastic tree over here and do this, but I'm really impressed with, with how fine the work has been done. It looks good, and it actually holds up. It's solid, and um, that means a lot to me, being around for a while with Jimmy. Uh, he stands for quality. All his airplanes are ultimately maintained. And um, while he has fun, he also wants it to be done well. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, the quality, that's what most people around here remark on is the quality uh, and it matches the brand, it seems. Yeah, like. yeah. And Chris, I know you and Chris have a, a, quite the history here. And Chris, why don't you jump? We do. I think initially maybe 1997 we met for the first time. Um, so you were still fairly early on, I think. Um, yeah, you know, about eight years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eight years in this whole, this whole world um, that, that you partake in every summer. So now 25, 30 years later, could you have envisioned any of this? No. I, in the early years, in fact, Jimmy would kind of mention offhand that he'd gotten offers for like a cheeseburger in paradise restaurant or which has been of course but he was always kind of dismissive of it and I think it spoke to his age uh, we were all so into the music so into the rock and roll like this is what we do we don't need that big you know um, but he, over time you know you get into 50s pirate looks at 50 and you talk, you think, you live, you start living your legacy. And I think that meant like, hey, this brand, which is Jimmy really from the beginning, means a lot to a lot of people. Uh, how can we reach them? I mean, of course, Jimmy's a great businessman, sure. so it's a market as well. But how can we reach them and let them live this lifestyle? And this is, I guess, a result of that. So yeah. in a way, it makes sense. In a way, it's like, wow, this is a... <laughs> You know, is there a percentage in it for band members? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's it's just funny to see where it's gone. But it's also makes you proud knowing that in some small way, whether it's a, a lick here or there, or being part of this band, we we we're part of making this. You know, or at least part of that community that celebrates it. The association they have it isn't just the house. It is truly this lifestyle brand, and it binds them together in a way that I've yeah. never seen the connection. Uh, among people and it's got to be pretty cool that, to know that that yes. is your legacy. It, well it is uh, David and you hit on the most important aspect it'll always be my memory uh, of Jimmy is his personality and his ability to look you in the eye and really take in and go you know this is a good life let's go have some fun let's let's get our work done let's do this and but let's enjoy it. How special is it for you at this point in your life to spend the stage with your son? Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's uh, the best thing I ever did. My, my kids um, are my legacy in that sense. And it was almost scary when Brennan was born because um, I lived for guitar from the time I was 15 years old. And uh, when I saw that baby come to life, it was just like, wow, this is my song now. This is, you know, this is, and now I kept touring. So I was gone a lot. 
which was hard. Anybody who travels, and you guys are busy too, you know how hard it is to be away from your families. Uh, but now I get a chance to be on stage with him and share that music. And it's, it's great to see how he's blossomed too with his own music. I mean, I just hope he doesn't fire me from my own band. <laughs> uh, it's, it's really neat. He's got all that energy and, and really loves it. And I've always said, you know, you go with this. You take it where you want and how you want. So Tell us what you're doing now. You know, everybody associates you obviously with, with Jimmy, but where are you at? What are you doing? Let's yeah. share with the folks the things that are happening and how they can find more about Yeah. Well, if, if you, what I'm doing now has a lot to do with what I've done since I was that 15 year old. I, I always have made my own music. Um, with and apart from Jimmy, I've written with him and many other fine writers, Mac and uh, Mac McAnally and, and Roger Goo. But right now, uh, I'm heavily involved in helping Brennan with his album going. You can go to petermare.com though to check out all uh, one of the 13 to 15, I think it's 15 albums now I've done. So a ton of music out there. We do Christmas tours, uh, we do our band tours, we do Brendan and Peter tours. Um, so it's still, I'm so thankful to still be playing this music. And, uh, but as you get older too, you know, my wife and I have had a little more time now to spend together and you cherish those years too, you know, it's like uh, uh, in the past it was always like, I'm gonna go down on stage, you know, <laughs> that'll be my last breath. But you know, there's, life is a song. We get to live this, we get to enjoy it. And uh, I, I'm starting to, to let, let the, the bigger forces upstairs handle that. You know, my job is to be here and uh, be of service somehow. So. I think those are words of wisdom, Peter. Life is a song. So remember that. So we just want to thank you so much thank you, for this David. time. Yeah. It's been a great honor. Chris, it's been I fun. really appreciate yeah. it. And make sure you do go to his website, it's petermayer.com. Make sure you check it out. Go support his albums. Can they find you on Amazon as well? The yeah, music? you sure you sure can. C D baby, Amazon, yep. yeah, it streams. Okay. Uh, it's Peter Mayer, and I'm the Peter Mayer from Nashville. There's another Peter Mayer from Minnesota. Okay. Make but, sure you get the right uh, one. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks so much. All right, and be you. on the lookout too, because we are about to interview Brendan, his son. He's got a new album coming out, so we want to make sure you know that. So be on the lookout for that video as well. Thanks so much.